Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and I'm your host today on Tesla Tomorrow channel. What we'll be doing in this video is I'll be taking you over some of the weekly recap for the Tesla news and some of the articles and what's been happening in the Tesla world. But most importantly, we'll be spending good amount of time on understanding the price action, the technicals, and what are the levels we are closely watching for potential moves on Tesla coming next week. With that, please hit the like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Cool, so I'll start off by just going over some of the news and articles that we have on Tesla. So Tesla Model Y production at Giga Berlin likely hit new high of 6,000 weekly units. That's awesome. EV giant Tesla has seemingly built 6,000 Model Ys in a week at its Giga factory in Berlin. What happened? So just go in a little bit of detail, let's cover first paragraph. An associate quality engineer at Tesla Germany earlier this week posted a video on LinkedIn of a silver model Y with several t-shirts on it. The t-shirts pose graphics reading 1000, 2000, 3000 and so on, hinting at the weekly production milestones achieved at the Giga Berlin factory. One of the t-shirts has 6000 printed on it, hinting that the company has achieved that milestone as well. Looking good, guys. Looking good for Tesla. Awesome. Cool. Let's take a look at another one. Now, this is, you must be familiar with your friend Marcus Brown Lee. He reviews refreshed Model 3, calls it Tesla's most important car. He says he's impressed. All right. What does he say? Now, he says that he's very impressed said about the revamped Model 3. While some refer to the refreshed model as Highland, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously dismissed the code name as not real. Let's go down here. Terming the lower end sedan a mini Model S, Brownlee said that the new edition is better than its former, former in terms of comfort and luxury. I know the Model S, you know, higher end, and it has the played variant and all the performance and all that fun stuff. But this is the car that people are going to know and see the most often as a Tesla, Brownlee said. You could argue this is their most important car and it's kind of feels now like a mini Model S. So in terms of comfort and luxury, he is really praising this model. Also, he goes on talking about a little bit on that the range and the speed, the acceleration. The refreshed Model 3 has an EPA estimated range of 2000, sorry, <laughs> 272 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds it's space variant cool guys looking awesome and the long version is 341 miles so influencers and you know brownlee is a very famous us youtuber he, he coming out you know praising tesla is in itself is a lot of good stuff for tesla in coming days and weeks like this this is like free marketing for elon right so that's awesome all right, now we have, this is, I completely agree with this one, guys. Like, I mean, I agree with all pretty much the articles I covered up there. But even though I have never uh, test-driven Tesla, but anyways, Elon Musk criticizes labeling over the air fixes as recalls for Tesla vehicles by that anachronistic standard. Phones are being recalled every few weeks. Yeah, that's pretty much the way they are labeling the recalling is stupid right i agree with elon musk here completely like this is just over the air update you update and software and it's fixed and what he points out here is that tesla to re well so reuters or any media outlet you would sometimes see them just blowing it out of proportion so tesla to recall nearly all its us vehicles in largest ever recall oh wow and then they put put in their link to read right so um yeah like Come on, it's just a little bit tiny update patch. It's just, yeah, it, it's crazy. So you get the point, right? Like, so, but anyways, it's fixed, I think. So, yeah, good stuff, guys, on, on Tesla and Elon. So now, now let's go back to technicals and let's take a look at the price section and what we need to be watching, what levels, what are the buying zone, what are the loading zone, how you can trade intraday swing. And for the long term, I'll cover all of that with you guys in this video. And please remember guys, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Also, I will be using a lot of my tools that I have built over the course of many years throughout my trading journey. 
And if you are interested in these tools, um, there will be a link to my channel in the description. Uh, Junior Trader, you can check out my channel. You will find some links over there, how to access those tools. Reach out to me on Discord as well. I have my uh, Discord link on my channel. Um, so yeah, all right, good stuff guys, let's begin. So we have what? Tesla here on the daily interval. What I wanna go first is show you a bit of weekly interval and then a lot of the stuff that we'll be talking here is on the daily and hourly, but let's go to the weekly and let's recap a little bit. So where we left off last time was Tesla had a week close below this 200 weeks moving average. That in itself is a quite a substantial sentiment change. Also, we are in this moving downward channel right now. So Tesla has a room that it can keep coming lower. However, the box that you see down here, $152 to 164. And before I do something more, what I wanna do is adjust my levels here. And this is a great way for you to see how to even adjust some settings on my indicators. So I just wanna, when I wanna include some more price action from the past, I can change settings on my indicator and those important significant levels will also show up. So this is sufficient enough for us because now we have the levels to the downside as well that we are watching. Now, let me go back to the weekly interval. And so guys, we, where we left off was, yeah, the box down there that you see is $150 to $164 is a very important level that I have been calling out is where you would expect a good bounce and a rebound if the price falls down in there. And that's the loading zone, the buying zone with your minimum stop loss below that somewhere, let's say 148, depending on how you are in building your position, sizing in, sizing out. And if you are, it's it all comes down to how you are managing your portfolio size. But for me, this is the load zone, $152 to $164 for a potential upside move for a swing trade and also a good place to buy into for the long-term position and also intraday position, but this is the zone. However, now there's a possibility we might not even get to this zone and we might see a rebound come in from where Tesla stock is right now. And that may give you some intraday and swing plays at least. And if Tesla falls to this zone again, this could be a long-term position buying or also for a next leg of swing and intraday plays, right? For the long side. So let's talk on that over our daily interval. Now, what I'll do is guys, um, I'm gonna plug in some of the short volume data here. So let's go to my indicator. Again, good stuff guys on my indicator, right? And here we go. So we see the short volume person coming in. Now let's talk about what the price action is doing, where it is right now on that. We have, as Tesla started falling, this is the post earning time, right? Tesla had lower short volume coming in. 25, 29% for me on Tesla is not a high short volume for that particular day. For me, if you look up here, when at critical resistance level, we see 44, 42, 43%, above 40%, right? Then at 20 days moving average, at 50 days, 200 days moving average, we are seeing again, short volume go up at 40% plus, 44%, 46%. That, those are the leading indicators that, yep, Tesla can let the Tesla fall, right? Because at, these are good opportunities when Tesla comes down, you can then buy into it. That's the game, right? You got to buy at the low, sell at the highs, okay? That's how you make the money. So. It's good that you get the opportunities to buy at the lower prices. And that's what I have been doing. I have been trickling in and building my position all the way down as Tesla is coming down. Now, let's talk about a couple of candles that we are seeing here where the price action is right now. So we saw less of short sellers come in. Then when we had a green day, short sellers tries to try to push it lower, 33%. We gapped up, we got 34% as well. However, as we made our way to the next few days, and you can see the pressure come in and Tesla side to go a little bit down again here, right? We got 30%, but something to note here, we had a green candle, green body form, and the next day, even though short volume percent was high at 35%, buyers still bought it back up, and I'll show you a lot of things on hourly interval. So 
which means buyers are negating short sellers. They said, that's why this consolidation is forming. And I'll talk more about it in, on the hourly interval in just a second. Now, on Friday, the last trading day of the week, we see 29% with a green body. That means short sellers are saying, okay, we don't want to be playing around here. Let the buyers take over. All right. And this put together with, and now let me take you to the hourly interval and it will blow up your mind, guys. So <laughs> we have this zone of buyers stepping in. Whenever Tesla has come down in this zone, guys, from pretty much $180 to 100 and um, guys, I'm just gonna just real quick another thing on my indicator. And this is the beauty that the settings. And again, if you happen to join my, you know, take acts, have access to my indicator and join, you would get to learn as well. There are videos that will teach you how to um, use my indicators for the level trading and all the things that we do here, guys, that I take talk to you over on my videos. Now, again, channel, my channel description, channel link is in the description below. All right, or just search for me junior trader on YouTube and it will take you to my channel. All right, now, um, what we have is $180 to $184 is where we have buyers stepping in, all right? We have buyers taking over the short sellers. And I showed you the short selling volume is reducing and for, well, reducing because short sellers are not able to push it lower. You can see that the buyers are still holding their ground at this important support zone. And then we have less of a short sellers coming in. So now putting all this confluence together, guys, with this zone as the buyers are holding it, I do expect Tesla to go at least can snap out of it to the upside. Now we'll talk about what that upside is and what are the stop losses zones you could be looking at. Now, one of the plays that I talked about intraday and swing going into the last week was at and above 187. We squeezed out some profits out of that already. Now, what is this next play going into the next week? It's pretty much a game to the upside. Again, confirmation is above 187 and 61 cents, one of the levels. However, I believe that we this zone, even 184 zone, if this holds, this is a this is becoming a buying zone, guys. All right. 180 to 184 if the price action keeps holding here i'm expecting an upside for the next week which can take us to 194 again and this is where i do expect 200 hours moving average give it a rejection and if any pullback to any of these levels in the bounce we break out of 200 hours moving average tesla has a room to go all the way up to for the next week to this upper range where we have 217 to 223 dollars range the 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 upper channel of the downtrending channel that we have on the daily interval so tesla does have room as soon as it breaks out of 194 and 200 hours moving average to go all the way up to 222 to 223 dollars range so that's something you have to be watching all right so that's an upside play on tesla now what is the downside play on tesla you asked junior trader well your downside play guys at this point is the break of 182 sorry 180 dollars and this could be for uh intraday or swing uh, for just profit making target but the you have to close that position of short in this so close to this range of 150 to 164 because this is a buying zone for Tesla to play again for the rebound to the upside okay so be careful on how what time horizon and time interval you are planning your trade but these are the levels you are watching for potential moves on either direction and then as you know this lower zone is where I want to load up on Tesla is that's what I'm looking for right cool good stuff guys well, this is it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe, and have a good rest of your week. Take care. Bye.